Welcome to Bloomers in the Garden. I'm Len Schroeder. And I'm Julio Zamora. And on today's show, we're going to take a look back over 2018 in horticulture. We're going to discuss events in horticulture that have impressed us over the year. I loved our trip to Chicago uh, when we visited the Ball headquarters. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yes, Len. Then we're going to talk about new plants for 2019. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> and in our final segment, we're going to talk about our New Year horticultural resolutions. So stay tuned, and we'll be back after this short break. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609 609- 685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Well, Len, the biggest news in 2018 has been what? The weather. The weather. Yeah. The weather. Mm-hmm. I mean, when yeah. we hit, uh, it was almost zero. What, what did I, I did some research. We had four degrees <laughs> on January 7th of last year. Wow. I don't remember it being down. Yeah. I had single digits, yeah, but not close to zero. Yeah, well, not in this cool. market. And that was South Jersey. Oh. My goodness. I don't know. Uh, I tell you what, it, yeah. it, it was really, really, it really was, cold. Yeah, it was cold, wasn't it? Yep. So a lot of times we're in that marginally hardy zone mm-hmm. where we can grow things that even, say, 25 miles north, they can't it because did. their temperate zone is different. Wow. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, uh, like weather like that, things got uh, killed back down to the ground. Right. Um, oh. Think about it. All of those plants, that figs, figs, oh figs. yes, maybe it didn't kill hurt. them, but it certainly did some hurt. damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hyd- some hydrangeas, some hydra- yes. But yeah. anyway, anyway, but the the bigger story was not the cold, but it was the water. The water, oh, it seemed like it would never stop raining in yeah. spring, didn't it? Though, yeah, oh. and that we're subject to it more because right. our weekends <laughs> are everything, that's because right. that's when we do all our business. Yeah. That's right. It seems to always come at that time. Oh, <laughs> I tell you, like, you oh. can, it can rain from, say, Monday uh, to Wednesday right. and then That's be it. clear the rest of the— That's right. But that it topped a record mm-hmm. of 40 inches of precipitation. Wow. And it's 11 inches more than normal uh, through September 9th. Ooh. That's a lot I, of rain. It, it's— it's incredible. It is it's incredible. incredible. And mm-hmm. that uh, it's still supposed to rain on New Year's Eve. So oh, it is? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Len. <laughs> so we're going to get a little more in. <laughs> so <it's> gonna <laughs> yeah. Happen. We're going to uh, add to that total. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I can't get, get enough. I mean, so how did your garden perform? Did you have any issues? I mean, I had disease issues in my lawn. Oh, I, my, my garden uh, was not looking good. No? You know? No. From the rain? From all the rain, yes. Yeah. I noticed it was really bad. Yeah. You know? And it, it's that type of mm-hmm. rain. I mean, it's a lack of sunshine, right. and it's what it does is it doesn't dry things out right. fast enough. The opposite is bad, too. Oh, I, sure. I probably would have more. I'd prefer more, more rain, rain than drought. Yeah, me too. Ugh, I've been through some of those right. droughts that mm-hmm. have been where oh. I, I remember in our town, when our town was fairly new, right, and they were building a lot, and they needed a new well, but they sent the police through the streets <laughs> saying kidding? to turn off your water because the well <laughs> level was dangerously low. Oh, no, you're kidding. That's crazy. Oh, that is crazy. So, more wow. water's better. That's right. <laughs> more water's so. better. Now, Len, you remember April, how cold it was? Oh, my yes. goodness. Yes. 
it, yes. was, it was crazy. Yep. And normally we get a few warm, you know, little touches little, of summer right. in April now and then. Right. I don't remember it happening. Now they're saying because, of, you know, the, the cold from the north and then the, the spring. The vortex. Come, yeah. Uh, is that what they call it? Yeah. Yeah, the vortex. Uh, it's just, you know, they clash. And that's where all the crazy weather comes in, I guess. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I they when the el ninos oh, happen boy. in california <laughs> right. i mean it yeah. affects us all the way over here is that something it wow. i don't know so it's we don't know that's right we don't we, we need, i need to get out the farmer's almanac and see what predictions <laughs> it <got>. has <laughs> that's right they do pretty good sometimes <laughs> they absolutely do <laughs> and it's a great uh, publication it is I it like is it. i i know that uh been around for what oh, oh. oh so long i don't even know so long hundreds yeah. of years I mean, it's, years. It is. Wow. I mean, it's it's over a hundred years. You're kidding! Wow. Yep. It's amazing. Um, but in our next segment, we're going to talk about uh, some of our favorite plants from this past year. Sure. Yeah, you know, we we really got a lot of beautiful new introductions right. that, uh, and then plus just some of our favorites. They may not be new, right? But it's something that's a little just a little special, special to us yeah. anyway. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this message. Are you tired of the mice moving into your home with you every fall? Would you like to keep them from coming into your home? Do you dislike using mouse killers around your kids and pets? Bonite has the answer, mouse magic. Mouse magic is an all natural mouse repellent that keeps mice from coming into your home, summer cabins, cars, boats, RVs, farm equipment, garden sheds, and more. Mouse Magic has a pleasant aroma which smells like spearmint and peppermint, but mice hate it. Mouse Magic repels by smell and works with an irritant that drives mice away. Just use one throw pack per average size room and your mouse free for up to two months. Available in a four pack box or a 12 pack economy Ziploc bag. Bonite products are family made in America. Mouse Magic can be found at these fine stores. Neighbors Home and Garden, Hellertown, PA, Primex Garden Center, Glenside, PA, Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Sewell, Washington Township, New Jersey. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, what was your favorite plant for... 2018, Julio. Let me just tell you, Len, my favorite plant was the Wilma Monterey Cypress. Now, the reason I like that so much was the color. <laughs> and, lime, and what? lime green. You lime green. Lime green. Lime so green. So not yellow green. No. So it was a well, lime green. Yes. That was really... I loved it when you when it just came in. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It caught my eye. I don't know about you, but it... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and a great plant because it's sheared real tight and tight so it's soft texture yep you know i like that softness yeah very nice yep and it doesn't get really huge either how big does it get uh, it can go 12 foot all 12 right foot but high. that's that's that old saying we always say right. in whose lifetime <laughs> that's right yeah in it's, lifetime. it's gonna plants are gonna take a little while. be around longer than us so that's it's right. not gonna be the first uh, five years that's right <laughs> <laughs> and the width is about four foot which is really Really a nice uh, width. I yeah, think. yep, and, not, not and a great corner plant. Oh yes, um, mm -hmm. full sun. Full sun. Yeah, mm -hmm. and say that name again. Which one? The name of the plant we're talking about. So everybody out there in Radio Land knows what we're talking about. Oh yeah, that's called uh, Wilma Monterey Cypress. Now that's it's uh, the botanical name is Capressus macrocarpa Wilma. There you go. There you go. And yep. it's good to know botanical names now it we is. don't want to go all egghead on you and be you know <laughs> too, totally scientific or right. make you feel bad right. but what happens with a botanical name is you absolutely get the species that you're asking about 
Right. Um, what happens, um, or variety rather, I should probably say, because what happens, there are so many different names for right. similar plants. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talk about hosta and how it's hosta, plantain lily, and, mm-hmm. and funkia in some areas of the country. If you don't ask for it by botanical name, they may just give you a, you know, an average hosta that, but where you really want hosta stained glass windows, mm-hmm. you need to ask right. by variety That's or right. ask by that botanical name, mm-hmm. so you absolutely get that same plant. Yeah, so more specific. Yeah. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and like you said that that the plant the the Monterey cypress that we're talking about it looks like a juniper it does so somebody right. could slip you oh, a juniper yes. so start paying attention mm-hmm. to botanical names mm-hmm. as well as common name common That's names right. yeah listen and if you think you're going to say it funny or or say it wrong it is okay right. it is okay it is uh, yeah. you know at bloomers anyway we are not horticultural snobs no. we don't That's you know right. we're trying to get the right mm-hmm. plant in the right spot right. and at your home so just give it a shot. Right. Even if you say it wrong, mm-hmm. like I always say that uh, that <laughs> we're detectives. You know, we <laughs> try to figure out That's what right. you mean by that uh, thing that your grandmother had in the back of her house that was <laughs> yellow right. and really <laughs> tall. And then it had those things right. that came off of it. But we never went by it when we were a kid because they used to have thorns. We'll figure out what that is. That's right. So uh, just give us the information and we'll help yeah. you get the right plant that you're looking yeah. for. That's right. My favorite. My favorite was the Pugster. Oh. It was it was the variety is oh, called Pugster. It's a butterfly bush. Yes. So Budlia. Mm-hmm. And it's a Pugster series. Mm-hmm. So Pugster Blue is my favorite. Right. And the thing I liked about it most is right. the flowers were actually full sized, almost big and fat big, and yes. heavy at the base right. and narrow at the top. It was really big. That was big. Almost yeah. like a lilac right. at the base, but big. Big hefty flowers, <laughs> but a dwarf plant. A dwarf, yeah, dwarf plant. Because oh. sometimes, but they, they can get out of control and they almost kind of get weedy, and you got to cut them down to, to fill them out a little bit. This pugster, Ooh. nice, very, very nice. nice, very, very nice. nice lad. Only about two foot tall, mm-hmm. two foot wide, right. full size flowers. Wow. You know, it it was it bloomed nonstop too. Oh, it, it started probably in, in April May, mm-hmm. and then just kept on kept through the whole on, season. Yeah. Wonderful. Yep. Yeah. But. And then the, ce- the center of it was like a little orange, wasn't it? Like a little That's true. When you eye. look, a lot of the, the butterfly bushes are that way, that, that right. you look way <laughs> down instead of looking at, they appreciate yeah. the whole flower. Right. You know, we often say that about roses, That's where right. when you look at roses, you, like a hybrid tea rose is that okay. great big rose where you appreciate the rose itself. Mm. And then there's Grandiflora and Florabundas right. where you, and, and shrub roses, right. where you appreciate the entire plant Plant. filled with roses. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, that's what you're saying with this, where if you look at the pugster plant, it's filled with (laughs) flowers and looks good. But if you look down and you study to each blossom that makes up that flower, that's where you saw that little hint of orange. It's gorgeous. Yep. Absolutely. Love that one. Me too. Me too. Another one that I loved that you brought in, Len. Yep. New, New one that you brought in was a bobo hydrangea. Oh, I fell in love with that too. Again, it's it's only a little dwarf. It's probably about three foot, right? And I'm telling you, it was filled with flat. You know, the the nice big flowers in there, large white flowers. It was wonderful. Yeah, and I, everybody is, loved them. It is gorgeous it because is. it goes to a different color, right? No, no, this no, one no. It, when it fades, oh, when it fades a little, yeah. Yes, when it, it fades, it yeah. goes to that pink, that pinkish. Yeah, yeah. So it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I I like I like that too. We also got another series of plants um, from Cottage Farms. Oh, yes. Now, that they were actually grown from Centerton Nursery. Mm-hmm. And Centerton went and had this series of plants where it was lavender, mm-hmm. and they were being sold under the Cottage Farm. It's Stone Cottage Farm. And my favorite of all of those lavenders right. was the Platinum Blonde. Oh, Variegated lavender, yeah, same that. plant, same size plant, everything. Mm-hmm. But then what happened is that it has that variegation <laughs> on the leaf. Right, beautiful, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. You, you hardly see that. No, no, you no. hardly ever see that one. No, no, no. It's really amazing. Yeah. What's your other plants that you like? Oh, I like. Oh, uh, you know that one time I was looking at the back of the uh, store and right? I said, "Oh, Len, what is that plant you got in the back? It's been there for years." 
right? Oh, uh, and you brought that in for me. It was called the Summer Snowflake. The common name is called Japanese Snowball. And, uh, oh, what a gorgeous plant, Len. It's just beautiful. And some, some places they say that that's invasive. No, I don't think so. I don't, yeah. I don't think so either. I think uh, sometimes when a plant just grows really well. That's right. That it, <laughs> uh, that it just becomes invasive. And the one in the back of our, our uh, you know, our property at, at uh, Bloomers, oh, that thing's right. been there for years, right? It has, it has, and it and people, it's a snowball bush, right? Sometimes people get it mixed up, where they call a hydrangea a snowball bush, uh-huh. but what actually that's the viburnum. That's right. So snowball bush viburnum. That's right. A lot of people said that to me. Oh, that looks like a hydrangea, and no, yeah. it's a viburnum. <laughs> that's right. And the beauty of it is that you also get. Uh, the berries at the end. In the That's fall. right. So bird Birds, friendly, yeah. butterfly, butterfly friendly, butterfly friendly, right? Mm-hmm. Also, will grow in part shade. Yeah, full sun, part shade. Wonderful. Yeah. Low maintenance. We love that. Absolutely. And uh, about eight foot tall, eight to ten foot wide. Whose lifetime? Oh, right. You don't ours. have to worry about. <laughs> That's right. You know, that's if you never touch it. That's right. That's if you never touch it. So. Again, you can always cut it back mm-hmm, and to keep it more under control. Mm-hmm. But the best part is no, you know, no care no for care. the most part. That's right. No insects, no diseases. Mm-hmm. Great plant. Now, one of the things that we did, mm-hmm. uh, we did a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's uh, oh, yes. organization, and and that where. Um, you know that that's a little special to my heart. Oh, yes, I know, Len. But uh, we had a series of plants that were part of the ball division that they call it uh, a Trixie, and that was called a Purple with a Purpose. Purple, oh. And what we did is we, we took them and donated a mm-hmm. portion of the sale right. to the Alzheimer's Association and that we had hanging baskets. And what they were is just a combination of many famous compact dark blue caliber koa, mm-hmm. many famous neo, neo light blue caliber wow. koa, nice. and many famous neo white caliber koa. So wow. there's all caliber koa. Right. And that it was the series in the Trixie series. Again, all, toge- all together. Yep. Wow. And it's under Selecta, which is a division of ball. Mm-hmm. We'll get into that right. later. That's right. But to me, that that was they were beautiful. Oh, that beautiful. was later in the the spring, early oh, summer, and it was it a just, big hit. It was yeah, a big hit. It was. Yeah, it was. And I think what we were doing is, I think we we're giving five dollars for every, every hanging one. basket yeah. that sold. Um, That's right, because you had hanging baskets too. Right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, we had baskets, and I think there were like six or eight inch pots, oh, yes. something like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Be- beautiful. Oh, they were gorgeous. Yep. I had them in my pots. I took them. Oh, yeah? Them, yeah, I put them in my pots. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what was some of the other plants that you thought were special in 18? I really love the dwarf Hinoki cypress land. I, I've, you know, I had it for years and years. and It's just, there's a softness to it. Yeah. And it, it's a, it's dwarf, so it doesn't get, eh, what? No, I'm four six, you, six, eight, you know, It depends. Yeah. And there's, you got to be careful with Hinoki cypress because there's, right. There's a dwarf compact Hinoki cypress. Right. Then there's a regular <laughs> Hinoki cypress. And then right. there's the true dwarf Hinoki, Hinoki cypress. Right. So that stays pretty small. I mean, right. six feet. Six feet, probably but, tops. But mm-hmm. lifetime again. That, oh. I, I mean, I would never probably see it get oh, that it's big. So slow. Very, Very slow, slow. But it's the green. The green is. It's a real dark green. It's a beautiful green. Yeah, like a Kelly green. Kind yeah. Of, uh, oh yes, we love it. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's and it it makes a great frame for other plants. It does. It, and and a lot of the plants that you put in, if if you put in all flowers and all color, and there were no leaves to back up flowers, or there was nothing there to act. That's right. It's it's gonna look. Uh, bleh. That's right. It's like oh my gosh, what <laughs> <That's> happened? <right. laughs> Somebody dropped right. the can of paint everywhere. You know, <laughs> that's it, right. it just. You need right. a base oh, yes. to bring out the colors. Like right. we talked about that uh, mix of caliber koa. Right. If it didn't have the white, white. Oh, in that, yes. it wouldn't bring out mm-hmm. the purples That's right. and the blue. Well, you know what I had next to my my cyp- my uh, Hinoki cypress? What? The Montgomery blue spruce. Well, and it really, oh, let me tell that you That must what. have made that blue spruce jump. Oh, it did. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Yep. 
Um, you had another plant that was down here that I'm going to steal from you. Go ahead, Len. That, that uh, <laughs> Irish bell, oh, Bosnian wow. pine. What a beauty. Uh, it's I love that plant. Nice pyramidal, oh. fat pyramidal fat, at the yes. base. Mm-hmm. Grows slow, mm-hmm. Grows but slow. it's just a... It, it has the nice candles on it before they begin to swell. It's a manageable landscape plant. It's not like a white pine that gets to be 35 feet tall. That's and, right. You know, That's right. It, it grows real fast. This grows very, very slow. Yeah. Nice Gorgeous. plant. Beautiful plant. Nice plant. Yeah, so, yeah, I love that one. Me too. Me too. There are just too many. Ito oh, peonies. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I... I love Ito peonies. Yeah, they're oh, they're they, wonderful. Year after year, they are more and more my favorite. Matter of fact, plant. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some next year. For, I I don't have any at all, so really? that's gonna be my next purchase. They're expensive though. I know. They're I know. about a hundred bucks you know, for a, a five, you know, like a five gallon plant. Like mm-hmm. we get big, oh, big yeah, ones. They're like those. shrubs. They are like shrubs. And people they? should use them that way. And their flowers are six inches across, mm-hmm. and they're in colors. And do you know the story behind the Ito peonies? No. What well, was, uh... we're going to talk about this more than once. It was, <laughs> okay. it was a hybridizer mm-hmm. from Japan. Right. Kept over and over and over trying to cross a tree peonies. Now, tree peonies have these great, big, beautiful oh. flowers in different colors. Right. To the regular garden peonies, which are basically red, pink, and white. That's it. But their habit... Oh. Their habit is it's a little more compact. It's right. where tree peonies can get lanky and and just kind of oh, okay. kind of big, kinda gawky. Big. Mm-hmm. It's not that pretty to look at. Right. So he wanted to get the characteristics of the garden peony, but the colors from the tree oh, peonies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now this man, over and over, they said over ten thousand failures. You're kidding. Wow. Right, ten thousand failures. That, see that? Keep trying. That's right. Keep trying. That green thing. Keep hardening. That's right. That's right. Keep that's trying. Right. That green thumb thing. Yeah, it doesn't right. happen. You know, it just it happens through failure, mm-hmm. not through necessity. Right. Can you imagine? You'll get success, mm-hmm. but it, you're going to have some failure. I mean, he wasn't. Thomas Edison said, "I've learned more through my failures than I did through <laughs> my, right. uh, you know, that's my right. successes." That's correct. Yeah. So anyway, he he ended up getting it to take. He finally got it. Finally he finally got, got him to wow. cross, that's and great. he was growing some plants. And he died before oh, he ever man. saw them bloom. You're kidding me. Wow. No. It's a shame. No. So that's the, the you know, it's a, it, it almost sounds wow. like a nursery rhyme it somehow. Does. So Ito Peony. Ito. I, how do you spell it? I-T-O-H? I, I, yep. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. So that's Thank a, you that's for a, doing that. Oh, oh, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Lady. There are others that you'll see. Um, we have... Uh, the, there's yellows oh, and there's my. like a mauve and there's all different colors. Yes. Um, great plant. Oh yeah. Great plant. Everybody stops when they, when they see. They do. You know. They, oh my goodness. They're a knockout. They are a knockout. Not, not yeah. to be confused with the roses. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, well, um, so I hope you ha- everybody had their uh, pens and papers out because really, you know, really, there, there's just and there's there's more. Right? There's more to come. Oh, yes. There's more to there's come more. And, and the. And the segment we have coming up, Julio and I and, yeah. and some other guys from Bloomers took a trip out to Chicago. Oh, wow. And we're going to tell you all about that That's right. after we come back from these messages. High Yield Brand Bone Meal contains 10% slow-release natural phosphorus. It helps all plants to develop sturdy root systems and stimulate healthy growth. You'll use it every time you plant bulbs. But it also is an excellent supplement fertilizer for roses, flowers, and vegetable gardens. High Yield Bone Meal is sourced from steamed bone meal, which provides a clean, natural source of phosphorus. High Yield is brought to you by VPG, the Fertilome people, and is available at these great stores. Daniel's Garden Center, Sumney Town Pike, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. 
Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> we had a great trip this summer, didn't we? Oh, my goodness. It was a great trip. Like, it, you know, we uh, we uh, do some traveling for the business that we're in, and that uh, it's some of the some of the times we go to different areas where we're just fortunate. Like, we went out to Chicago, mm-hmm. and we make wow. – it's work. Mm-hmm. It's work. But it's fun work. But we enjoy our work. Uh, I tell you. Uh, we went to um, Chicago to go to what they call an IGC show. It's independent garden centers from all over the country, mm-hmm. um, all over the world, really, mm-hmm. that they go. There's educational sessions. There's a trade show, uh, garden center tour. That's right. That was fun. That was great. But we did our own. We That's did right. it. Oh. We were freewheeling, <laughs> right? We were, yeah. <laughs> we never stopped. <laughs> well... <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, if goodness. you ask anybody who's gone on a trip with me, oh boy, we're Try working. To you, huh, yeah, man? it's time. <laughs> Come on, four o'clock in the morning, we're That's going right. to the airport. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Nonstop action. <laughs> when we land, we're hitting the ground running. Yes, we are. You know, it, oh, we went boy. to uh, some of the best garden centers in the oh, country right. are out in that Chicago area. Wow. Uh, Platte Hill, we went to and right. went to. Uh, chalet and some of the others. That, th- yeah, they are uh, beautiful, gorgeous, aren't they, Lynn? Beautiful, yes, beautiful. They are. Yeah, and, 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 well, and the inspiring. city itself is beautiful too. Chicago with it all is. the planters. Uh, it is. They do it right. Philly. Yes. Come on, the whole, you, you can do it. Yes, you can. You can do it. Yeah. And, I mean, yes, you can. Philadelphia. Do you know Philadelphia? I think mm-hmm. it was GQ. Was the I don't know hottest city or something like that. The oh, best yeah? city in the country. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How about that. I Go believe Philly. it. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Good news. Well, when we went, Mm -hmm. one of the things uh, we did is we went to the ball headquarters, world headquarters in Chicago, and went to their test gardens. Yes. That was was amazing. That was fun. Yeah, it was amazing. That was fun. What was neat about that, Len, was I think it was closed. Remember? It was. (laughs) (laughs) Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. (laughs) We got there, and we could spend Uh, as much time as possible. It was one of those nights where it was a beautiful night, Uh, and it was. uh, we were there from probably late afternoon, so early evening until probably twilight. Um, Great. It it was amazing. Some of the plants, I mean, one of the things that – that I was impressed with are just all the cone flowers. There was that one wow. garden that had all of oh, those mixed yes. colors of cone flowers. And right. if you've ever bought a, a variety recently, mm-hmm. there's a variety called Sombrero. Sombrero, right. Sombrero. At- yep. Mm-hmm. And it it's being sold as both a perennial and an annual. Well, so that. like annual guys are growing it where normally you would see it in the perennial area right. of your garden center or, or shop, wherever you're I buying from. That. It's now being sold oh. as a color plant. Wow. A lot of blooms and of blooms. and such. But it was yellow and it not it's not just purple cone flower anymore. Right. It's yeah. cone flower. So oh. there is red. That red cone oh. flower. That was the yeah, one. It was real red. <laughs> brilliant red. Yep. Brilliant red. Real. And it had a mix. Mm-hmm. And then that other cone flower, the double scoop. Double scoop, yeah. The giant On cone the was enormous. Oh. It was like they call it that because it looked like a scoop of ice cream <laughs> That's right. from an old-fashioned right. ice cream vendor. Yeah. And they were fantastic, they were too. Yeah. They were fantastic. Was really amazing. You know, what What are your memories of that trip? Oh, well, you know what? That, those hostas were incredible. Did you see the yes. hostas? Wow. Yes. All Leaves, kinds. like almost two foot, two foot across. I know. It's unbelievable how, how big they were. And the number of varieties. Oh. It's just outrageous. Oh. Outrageous. Yeah, it was incredible. And that color all over the place. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. And it's it's just 
One of the things we saw were um, we're talking about some of the dwarf vegetables. Right. We saw dwarf vegetables there because because they sell burpee. That's right. You know, ball is burpee, burpee, and and they sell a lot of other like Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Selecta, like that Trixie series that we were just talking about. That that's was part part of of ball. Mm -hmm. Um, We also what else? Pan American seed. Oh, okay. All, wow. you know, that, that. So all of those are, are sold within that horticultural family. Mm-hmm. Darwin Perennials. Oh, another one, huh? Yeah. And this is a huge company, huh? Oh, gigantic. Oh. And it's been around. And worldwide. Uh, yeah, absolutely worldwide. Yeah. And yeah. they're always on a cutting edge, it seems like. They they are. They are. They are. And, and it's amazing how many different companies like that exist. Oh, really? Um, wow. If one thing that we can do with this show right. to the public mm-hmm. is try to get them to understand how big, big the industry is oh, yes. and how much science is behind oh, what's done huge and with t- tissue culture mm-hmm. and you know we're going to talk a little bit about vegetative and seed mm-hmm. production right. for for plants and plants. and mm-hmm. just take a listen to that mm-hmm. um one of the things that were at our trip to chicago we got to see damon johns Oh yes, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, Fubu, Fubu, Fubu guy. <laughs> yeah, right. he uh, had a, what a character. Yeah, right? he he had. Wow. He called it. His talk was five shark points: fundamentals <laughs> of success in business and life. Yes, he paid his dues. Oh yes, he did. He used to sell T-shirts on the corner. That's right, and he started out at home. Yeah, uh, in the basement or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. And just kept yeah, kept, kept going, going, kept yeah. going. Yeah. yeah, we also um, believe it or not, there is. Uh, there are professors at schools that are professors of economics right. for agriculture. Yes. Yeah, Charlie Hall, that was probably my oh, favorite. Yes, he was very good. He 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 talked about the economics oh, of yes. where we're going and yeah, where our economy is now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how millennials will influence our industry. Yes, big time. All you guys out there and and gals that are mm-hmm. millennials <laughs> and working with plants. Right. Keep on going. Yes, sir. Where's your food? You know, where's your food grown? That's right. Keep it up. Right. Keep it up because you are actually causing mm-hmm. a renaissance within our business. Oh, yes. Um, and you see more young people coming into the business. We do. Yes, I think we it's do. really a great positive thing. It is. It is. And, you know, the succulent movement, I think oh, a lot of that is big. behind millennials oh, because they're so. easy to care for mm-hmm. and they want something living within their environment. Right. right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty neat. What what else from Chicago do you recall? Boy, I just loved the uh, the ball was great. I mean, yeah, it, it, just looking at it from a distance, even Len, uh, you know, yeah. just the beauty of all the things that they do is incredible. They had hanging baskets that were probably oh. about five six feet across. Oh my, they were incredible. Um, and it's a lot of the things that that they do uh, is just so inspirational. Oh yeah, if and you've it, never been there, you have to go. Yeah, I mean it's but it's, you know even locally. I mean right. Longwood. Oh yeah, and lo- just get out to Longwood. Yeah, with these days of winter when you're mm-hmm. kind of stuck inside, That's right? Go take a trip over to Longwood. Yeah, and, Easy. and that it it it'll get you re- reinvigorated. <laughs> That's right. Believe it or not, the flower show, maybe not coming up right. soon, but the but talk about the flower show is going to be coming up. Coming the Philadelphia up. Flower That's Show. Right. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Pennsylvania Horticultural Society. Right. It's uh, coming it's soon. coming soon. It's coming, yes. It's coming I'm soon. Forward. Yeah, but uh, the, the real nice thing for us to go out to Chicago, I, I actually enjoyed our dinner. <laughs> yeah, that was a great dinner. <laughs> where, where you, Donnie, and I were just oh, hanging out and just had a— That's right. Yep, you know, Brett, German dinner. Oh, had, had a German, German dinner. dinner. Yeah, it, was it was wonderful. Really good. Yes. It was really good. Um, that, that whole experience was un- unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it was beautiful. And you've been to these things before. It was first time for Donnie. First time, and I think, oh, wow. and, and I think in the beginning, a little overwhelmed. Yes, mm-hmm. and all of the vendors that mm-hmm. you have to choose from oh, to yes. bring in next year's product, we have. It's hard. You can't bring in everything, right? And that there are some times where some plants are, um, I, I like hookra, for instance. Right, like there are just way, way too many. Yeah, we yeah. can't bring them all in. No, but. There are some of the unique ones. Right. I don't like. I know that there's varieties. I can't tell the difference from. <laughs> I can't. You know, it, it's like oh, I'll look at it and I'll try to figure out what's the difference, and I really won't know. So. One great thing you do though, Len, is bring always the new ones in, and uh, yeah, and variety. We have a great variety. Yeah, always, always we do. I remember the first. Uh, there's that first lilac that we brought in that was supposed to be so new, and it was. Right.
It was a bomb. Oh, boy. but the new variety, the after that that one, that version came out there. It was like the, uh, a new one, like Kabloom. Uh, you know, Kabloom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it, it the second the second go around was much better than the first. Right. But, but you always bring in new ones, even though yeah. they might not you know, be as great, but you know. That's what yeah. makes it fun. Yeah. And then there's, all, then there's old favorites, too. That's right. Classic over the old uh, ones that you always bring in. Yeah. Always a hit. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's great. Well, our next segment coming up mm-hmm. is going to be about new plants for next year. Right. That you're going to see, most likely see at Bloomers, and some of the things that we're excited for, right. uh, even some of the plants that we just like that are going to be coming back. Right. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Well, Ed, we're going to uh, talk about plants for next year, 2019. The new ones are coming out. Uh, but first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about vegetative versus seed. Yeah, you know, I think everybody out there, if you do know, congratulations for you, but most people I don't think realize that when plants are produced, that they're either from seed or from cutting or from some some other method like a um, uh, tissue culture, for instance, where that's really getting scientific. But that where let's let's just talk about annuals when you buy annuals in cell packs and they're inexpensive most of the time that those are grown by seed and so what happens is seed they they get put into a a tray blood tray and then they're transplanted up into into that but things like the proven winter series of plants and a lot of the plants that we were talking about just a minute ago from ball a lot of those are from cutting and so those they have to be physically taken from a mother plant and then rooted into the grant into the soil right. and then transplanted into like most of the time it's a four inch pot and sometimes they're bigger bigger pots a lot of herbs are from cutting uh, there's even you know vegetables there's grafted vegetables now we had a series of grafted vegetables where there are different uh, tomatoes and, and even eggplant that were grafted. And the reason for grafting is that the rootstock was more vigorous uh, on the uh, grafted plant and it still had the top growth. So that was a good thing. That's so great. interesting. But it, yeah. it made it, to be honest with you, it made it a little expensive. Right. It wasn't, it's not like a Japanese maple right. where a, a Japanese maple that's grafted right. is a superior plant and right. where over the years it's going to be better. Something neat to try. Sure. Something neat to try. Sure. But the amount of work that, that goes, if you think about how many times that that plant has been touched, mm-hmm. it's not like it, a seed went in the ground in the pot and it just came up and then oh. it's for sale. No, yeah. it doesn't work that yeah. way. Yeah. Seed gets put into a plug tray, then it germinates, then it's transplanted into a pot, and then right. it's grown to be get to a saleable size. Right. Or a cutting is rooted and then that rooted cutting gets transplanted into a pot so there's a lot of things that are involved with getting a plant to market and this is just common plants these are things like wave petunias and uh, caliber koa and even even your vegetable plants so it's not just something that just appears on the benches and it's easy to do (laughs) there is science behind it and that everybody should really try to to pay attention to what it takes and and do some searching online it's amazing on on what the horticulture industry goes through and and the upkeep of it is is another area you're not just putting it in there now you have to keep it under well that's right that's right Right. and you make sure there's no insects on it and there's there's um I went to one of the greenhouses that we get things from, and on the floor, they actually have a foam that, between partitions in the greenhouse, it sends out this foam that is an antibacterial foam so you don't spread any diseases from one section to the other. So you actually are walking through it, so it cleans your feet, it cleans the cart wheels, and all of those things that could spread a disease. 
I mean, that to me, that's that is amazing. Isn't it, it? it it is. Mm -hmm. So we don't see any of that. I do. Well, I know you do. <laughs> and we want you out there to see it through through our eyes. That's correct. Because the, when you get a plant, it's not that much, is it? No. 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 You know, you and know. what it goes through. That's right. It is amazing. That's the, right. You know, you're talking about all this process. And that's even before the growers get it. Because, that, huh? you know, like a wave petunia just didn't okay. become a wave petunia the first time they tried. Yeah. You know, that poor, you know, Dr. Ito. Right. You know, we're trying oh to do that right. 10,000. Never got to see the results of his work. Yeah. You know, that's the kind of work that's involved with people that love plants and care about plants. And they do it not for their own enjoyment they do it because they want to bring something more beautiful to the world that's right. so and and they do and they do they do yeah yep. I mean, you see that absolutely when people come in and they go oh this is where i want to be inside the garden <laughs> yeah, right. so well coming up for 2019 wow. oof, already. <laughs> I'll tell you what what is uh Let's see. Give me some of your plants that you're looking forward to seeing at the garden center. Oh, let me see. Uh, the first one is that Stockies Monieri Fumello. Wow. That's a, yeah. That's a, wow. It's a tongue tied one. <laughs> it is. Now, that's the perennial plant of the year. That's for, correct. For yeah. 2019. 2019. Yeah. That's a, it's a cousin of the lamb's ear. Right, Not, and it's, it's a green leaf. It's a green leaf, yeah, it's totally different. It's grown for the flower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flower is really nice. It's like a, it's on a spike, you know, it's on a spike. Yeah. And, and um, it's a low mounded green foliage. Mm -hmm. And in the early summer is when, uh, when you see the, uh, the, uh, the spikes coming up and the purple flowers appear. Okay, so the, with knowing the variety that, that it is, you've got a, it's green foliage, so when you think lambs here, don't think of the gray, yeah. like soft, fuzzy foliage. That's not what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's just this, because is, this is right. This is going to be what probably most of them look like. That it's going to be a green foliage, but the, it looks like um, status. Like I don't know if you're familiar with status that uh, that you get into cut flowers. So it's a, a good good blue purple and. Friendly to butterflies. Yes, bees. Yep, bees. bees. Pollinators. Pollinators. Right. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about that in a bit, too. Yeah. Uh, one of the plants that I like. Now, Terra Nova is a perennial and, right. and annual company that develops. They're out of Oregon, and that they develop new plants. Right. Most of those new hooker varieties that have taken off. Right. They have they something have to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really yeah. Nice. Yeah. Really like nice. all those oranges oh, and, yes. and all the, the shortreuse of, of those uh, coral bells. Coral bells. That's it. Those wow. guys have done a lot Great of job. introductions of those. But mm -hmm. they have agastache, and and it's a now it's a dwarf variety, right? Pujito. That it's uh, they're different colors, oranges and reds, and mm -hmm. but it's a compact variety. Super, super plant for hummingbirds oh, yes. and butterflies, right. things like that. Yeah. And it just has given new colors to a, to an old plant, right. an old plant. And, and it lasts long. The blue tongue is long. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And with perennials, one thing you don't usually hear people talk about is how you just when they stop blooming, cut them back, cut them, back, yeah. cut them in half, mm -hmm. cut them in half, right. and they probably will cut flush back, back out. Mm -hmm. And send up another bloom cycle. Right. Not as much as the first time, but at least be correct. But things like it'll come back. Coreopsis and right. so, like Coreopsis, yeah. especially, Coreopsis. just sure. cut it back, and it's all of a sudden it looks just like it did. Brand when, new. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it could bloom all summer right. if you cut it back. If you cut it back. There are very yeah. few perennials that are going to bloom like they did in the beginning all summer. Right. But if you do cut them back, that's right. they will. They will most yeah. of the time. Most of the time. So we get an extended time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, have, what about you, Julio? Do you have any other? Oh, the Bruner, Jack Frost. Oh my goodness. Now see, that's what an old beef. variety, but man, oh, Bruneria, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous plant for shade. Oh yes, for shade. For shade. It takes a little bit of sun, but not much though. Right. Yeah. Right. It, the leaves can burn. Yes. And it's because the leaves are silver. Yes. The leaves yeah. are silver with a usually the veins a, are green. Yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? And not only that, the color of the flower oh. is that 
bluish. It's a it's baby a, blue color. Baby blue, yeah. It's a, that's fantastic. A, that, I love that one. Me that, too. That was a, that's a hit right there. Me too. I hope you're taking notes, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Brunaria. Oh, yes, For the shade. Brightens Jack up, Frost, yeah. Brightens up dark it's spots. A, it's a beauty. It yeah. absolutely is. It absolutely mm -hmm. is. Now, there's that new hydrangea that's come in from the folks that, that uh, Endless Summer. Endless Summer. Oh, Endless right. Summer folks have a new one coming out. It's called Summer Crush. Summer Crush, yeah. And it's a macrophylla that it's where perennial, where I'm sorry, hydrangeas are going. It's not going to be pink or blue. Right. It's going to be that almost meshing of the colors to where they could be a violet or uh, they might be pink in certain s the soils so that they're looking for more of a tighter compactor flower head that can give you different colors like that. and that's going to be one of these like um, it could be anywhere from raspberry wow. to like neon purple neon purple <laughs> so and again reblooming right. another reblooming variety from endless summer so that's going to be something interesting yes it is yeah they keep coming with new ones don't they they do yeah they do wow. one of the things that i want to do um it, i want to have a um it's going to be a pollinator garden that i'd like to do somewhere at the store oh that'd be great yeah that would be great yes yeah, so a lot of people, you know, thinking about bees and butterflies. A lot of butterfly people coming in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. They love that. Whole lot. Whole lot. I don't know. What about you? You're going to do your whole yard over, you said, right? Oh, uh, yeah. we don't look at that. Yeah, yeah I'm rushing the segments. Yeah, I'm going to the segments. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. But you know, one of the big things I've, I've been reading in in, uh, in uh, last year has been the cut flower garden. Uh, a lot of people are doing that because they want to take the, their uh, sure. flowers inside in the vase. Sure. And you see a lot of that now. And yeah. I want to do more with Angelonia. Okay. I, I I saw a right. beautiful collection in a single pot, like a 12 inch pot of just three varieties of Angelonia. Oh yeah. Stunning. Wow. Stunning. That's yeah, something beautiful. that's going to be new for this coming year. Oh, yeah. Yep. There you yep. go, folks. You wait, yeah. that angel, it's it's going to take over. Oh, All yeah. of a sudden, it's going to oh, be, wow. it used to be like a small section on the bench. Sure. It's growing. Okay. Because oh, wow. blues sorry. and purples and, and, and just uh, a lot of cool. different shades within there. That's nice. Good. nice. That's good to know. Yep. Yeah. Lots, lots of new plants yeah, coming. A lot of new things coming. Yeah. Every year, it seems like they have, there's a lot, isn't there? Then like, before it wasn't. Now we have a lot of <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. Right? <laughs> uh, All right. Well, we've got another segment coming up of what our New Year's resolutions are going to be. We'll be right back after these messages. Well, lad, New Year's resolutions <laughs> coming up, right? 2019, yes. Uh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm gonna, <laughs> no. Uh, no, we're talking about garden. <laughs> oh, plants, oh. Okay. Okay. All, right. All right. Sorry about that, lad. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing I want to do is, yeah. is I, I ripped everything out of my front landscape oh, I noticed. a while I noticed. ago. Yes, yeah. Um, You're yeah. Due for a new. Uh, yeah, yeah. My yeah. problem is I have these great big boxwood that I left. Uh -huh. And I have to match the size plant with those boxwoods. So oh, I'm going to finish my landscape, okay. and along my walk, I'm going to make sure that I put in uh, creeping phlox or mountain pinks. Mountain pinks. And, there you go, another yeah. one. Uh, creeping phlox or mountain pinks. Um, that's that's one. Of the, and you, you got, you have a pretty uh, big chore on your hands. Oh, yes, I do. I might not take. Uh, <laughs> you know, it might take uh, two or three years. That's all right. What is it? Well, I'm, I'm redoing my whole front. I, I'm going... A Even bit the daylilies? I mean, you have yes. hundreds oh, of daylilies. Yes, I do. You're ripping them out. Yes, after 15 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've had them for a while. But, you know, I'm getting older, lad, so I want to make it a little bit more simplified for myself. You're not getting older, you're getting better. That's right. I, I agree with you that. You are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, yeah, I want to I want to do a bit, a bit more classical. I like peonies. And, I want to put roses in. Okay. I've never done that before. Right now, I have grasses and you know a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of flowers and perennials. Uh, you know, like veronica. Uh, I do have a bunch of them. And, nice. But uh, I want to go a little bit more classical this, this okay. time around. 
I, I get you. You know, I get you. It's going to take a while. You've got is. a lot to tear out. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. And, and one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah. start my vegetable garden back up. Oh, you are? Yeah, I you. let it wane for, for, for a while. I've got to cut some trees down to get in some more sunlight. Right. Uh, because I want to cook with um, all of the organic herbs that I'm growing, like rosemary and thyme yes. and basil and cilantro and parsley oh. and oregano, and then some of those oddball herbs, too, uh -huh. that I've never seen. Quite sure good what to you. do with like tarragon and things. So. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. And how you like to eat then? Yeah. Well, like to eat. I do like to eat. Yeah, I do like to eat. I enjoy good. cooking too. Yes, you do. I see. I you. like. I enjoy watching other people enjoy what I cook. Oh, there you go. That's what I got. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds, like, that sounds like a good plan. That is. That's it. Well, we're gonna wrap up the show in our next short segment, yes, and we'll be right back after this. Well, wow. we're going to get schooled for sure next year. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. We had a great year, horticulture. Yeah, we did. Was a lot of great new plants introduced. Uh -huh. And, you know, doing the show, brand new. Brand new. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate Happy that, Brett, our Happy producer. Yeah. Yep. You behave yourself, New yes. Year's. Yes, sir. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. Yes, enjoy Latin. Yeah, that's it. I will. I will. I, I'm hoping that I fall asleep before the ball drops. Oh, I, I'll, <laughs> I'm with you there. <laughs> but I tell you what, there's so many new plants coming out. I'm excited. Uh -huh. yeah, same First there. trade show that I go to is okay. on the 7th. Oh, of January, so oh, that's wonderful. It's a new introduction to plants, so we'll, we'll have all kinds of information. Uh, can't wait. Man. So everybody, God bless out there, yes. and we'll see you in the garden. See you in the garden.